All right, it's springtime. It's ready to get the boat out and get it summarized. So I'm going to go through the process that I'm going through on my Taiga Z3. This is 2015 with the Raptor 400 engine. So we'll go through all the steps needed to get it ready to hit the water. Okay, we got to pull out of the garage. First step, we want to make sure all of our plugs are back in that we pulled for winterizing the cooling system. So I'm going to go through there and just check all those. All right, I have the transmission V-drive hatch up, and I just need to make sure this... This is the drain bolt. Just make sure that's tight. Okay, there's two drain bolts on the side of the block. This is just below the exhaust manifolds. It drains out the exhaust. Just make sure those are bolt tied up, tied up which they are. And I've, I have tightened everything up when I winterized it. I put everything back in. So I'm just going through and double check. Checking now the impeller. I didn't take the impeller out. Um, I'm going to use this impeller for the first couple runs of the season and change it out. This, is, this was a new impeller for the end of the season. So just want to make sure your impeller cover, impeller is all in. Ready to go. Now that I've checked all the drain bolts, I want to make sure my battery system's good. Uh, if you remove your batteries, put them back in. I'm going to check the water. Uh, I'm going to check the water. Just make sure I don't need to add any water to these. I have a built-in onboard charger, but you might want to throw them on a charger if you don't have that. Make sure your batteries are all charged up. Then I'm going to get my balance bags all put back in. I took out the rear ones just so they could fully dry, kind of hang them up. Uh, clean up underneath them a little bit. So I'm going to get those. Those are all back in, all hooked up. And I just need to put in my rear panels, my engine, engine panels. I'm going to leave probably the panels out so that way I'm going to start it up on the hose and let it run for 15, 20 minutes so I can kind of see if there's any leaks. All right, I got my fake leak hooked up to the bottom of the boat. I'm going to turn the hose on, fire it up, check for leaks in the cooling system. All right. I got water on, we got the battery on. So now we're just gonna power on here. This will automatically turn the blower on. Let's turn the key. Got the fuel pump prime for a second here. All right, fire right up. So I'm gonna let it run for probably 10 minutes just to not only circulate the fuel, but also be able to go down in the compartments and just check the cooling system for leaks, make sure I got all the plugs tight. Check the impeller area. All right, we know water's going through the system when it's coming out the exhaust outlet there. All right, it's, I filled it up with fuel at the end of the season, so it's got 100% fuel. So I'll, I'll let this run for 10 minutes or so, burn some of that fuel off, and then I want to wait to get it up to temperature. You can see it's still only 80 degrees. Engine temp only 79 here. On this generation of uh, Z3s, Tiger has this little compartment here. And what I did is I put this, this is just a wireless charger pad. You can get these for like 15, 20 bucks. And it fits a iPhone Max size pretty well there, but you know you can just plug it into here. I gotta tuck the, I gotta, I need to tuck the cables underneath. But this is a nice charging pad, you know, to charge your phone while you're out on the lake, and not have to worry about you know plugging it in every time. You just set it on there, you're gonna charge it. All right, engine's up to temperature, 156 and holding. It's been running about 10, 15 minutes. Let it run a few minutes longer. Uh, everything checked out on the plugs, no leaking at all. All right, now we got everything in the interior boat. Motor-wise, all uh, good to go. Just got to check the trailer. Check PSI. I keep it about 50 PSI on each tire. Check those, and then I'm going to take these caps off and make sure all of the lug nuts are torqued down.
I'm just gonna check brake fluid, make sure that's topped off. We got everything hooked up to the boat. This is a quick tip I learned uh, last year. I had the plug pull out on me and it drug on the ground and it, it, it got messed up. So what I did is I just get this little Velcro strap and I strap it around the plug and this plug cover. So that way this, even if, uh, you know, like this is a coiled up cord. So even if this gets pulled, it's not gonna, it's not gonna pull out of the socket that will always have power to it. All right, uh, we've got everything put away. We've got all of our gear in here. We've got our ropes, life vest, tool kit, jumper cables. We've got our towels, flag. Everything's ready to go, stored away. We're going to hit the lake for the first time for the season. And be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.